All right, guys, welcome back to the hobby farm. Uh, I just got off work, and uh, my wife and daughter got the baby horse in. We're gonna film that, and then later, <coughs> excuse me, and then later we're going to uh, till up that garden one more time. We got like a frost warning here in the next couple days, so I'm gonna figure out. Just go ahead and get it tilled up one last time, and then probably in another week and a half we'll go ahead and plant the garden because I think we'll be out of this. The stupid weather that keeps going back and forth so let's get out getting a little baby horse in and uh then we'll get to the garden hey peanut hey heidi Look like a tank yeah, what is it? I think it's like 50 degrees. I got it. Hi. Until she pins her ears and rips my head off. <laughs> Easy, Heidi. That was easy. Big old Heidi. Did you pet her? All right, that was one of the easier times. Normally she's pretty uh, rambunctious and wants to bounce around. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed the cattle, get that done, and then we'll work our way over to the garden. All right, let's get at that. Turn off the electric fence so I don't get shocked. Oh, it's off already? Oh. All right. Get out of here. Let me get the food first. Dump that one in there. Yeah. Let me kick it out. Kick the. So they can all get at it. Let them eat at it for a little bit.
All right, cows are fed. So I'm gonna go over in the hay barn here in a little bit before I do the garden. I'm grabbing them some, uh, we have some older hay bales that are on the bottom. Grab that for them. And then we'll get started. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna get in here and get a couple bottom bales so I can feed the cows because that hay is not good for the horses. It's just too uh, dusty and it's got a little bit of mold on it, which is fine for the cows because they'll just root through it and pick out what's left that's good and the rest of it they'll just trample. Um, oh, check this out. Kids must have found these earlier. Huh. Two little eggs. Bird eggs. I don't know what kind. As long as they're not in my garage, I don't care. But they're definitely no good anymore. So I'm gonna get at getting this bale out. While I'm doing this, why don't you guys check out this clip from the other day, I put a uh, duck door on the duck coop. So check that video out and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm gonna build a door for the duck coop for the front side. Uh, Cause it's a little bit of a pain to open that back door all the time. It's good, back door works for it to be cleaned out but to move the ducks in and out, it's not a very good setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a door here. Just a simple one, just a wood brace, and I'm gonna put the chicken wire over it. So what I need to do now is just cut a couple corner triangles, put it in the corner, and that's about it, and then put it together. So I'm gonna get at cutting those uh, triangles out. Y'all probably say should have did this when I built it, right? I thought just putting one door in would have been just good enough, but apparently it's not. So put this little door in it. Everything will be good.
All right, guys. That's the new duck door. It should work. Make an easy access right here. Get your water and food. They don't have to open that big back door. <clears throat> I mean, in in reality, that back door was just for cleaning. So this was going to be done. It just needed to be done quicker. I just didn't have the hinges when I was building it, or I would have put it in. But I think this will work out. It's still uh, plenty vented, and it's a sturdy door. All right, you guys back? All right, hopefully you like that. I got one of the bales here, I don't know, it's pretty dusty. Get it. It's got dust in it, so I'll get this out the door here and I'll grab another one. Then I'll take it over to the cows and then we'll get at tilling up that garb. So hang tight. All right, I'm gonna get a couple more of these um, from out of the hay barn. So you guys hang tight. I'm gonna get this garden one more time before I plant it, just in case some, you know, some seeds have gotten started that I don't want in there or just weeds seeds that have gotten started so go ahead and hit that again and uh, hopefully that will keep down on the weeds for the year whether it's the right thing to do I have no idea so it's what I've always done and it's helped me in the past so I'm gonna go ahead and get the tiller and we'll get at this garden all right I'm gonna go ahead and do this I, this five horse craftsman I bought off a guy probably eight years ago and it was very well kept. This, this is pretty old. It's like almost 20 years old, this rototiller. Um, I bought it off of him for 200 bucks. And it does an excellent job. I've never had a problem with it. It always starts up. So that in the background is my kid driving a lawnmower around. You'll see him every now and then come around, but it's just something for him to play on. It's the old uh, simplicity that I have. So I'm gonna get this thing started and let's get rolling.
All right. It took me, I don't know, a little under 20 minutes to do that. So it looks pretty good. Like I said, from about, see all those little white sprouts? That's what I wanted to take out. I don't know if you guys can see those or not. But yeah, like from here all the way over to here. That's all first year till. You know, this from, from here that way is all the existing garden. So I definitely wanted to hit all this. I didn't want the grass to come back up in here. So, but I'm hoping to do pretty good. And as you can tell, my barn shades a little bit. But I mean, that's the last hour and a half of the, of the day. So, you know, most plants only need about six to eight hours of sunlight. So we're in good shape with that. So that's uh that's the garden again but next time we're out here we're gonna be putting some plants in i got some block peppers coming from my buddy he starts them from a seed strain that he has he's had that seed strain for over 20 years so he says they're the best peppers to uh to can so i'm gonna try that with his recipe and i'll share that with you guys um it's kind of a sweet type of uh, canning for the peppers but they stay crispy so he's gonna give me his recipe and hopefully it turns out as good as his are so next time we're out here we'll be planting some plants i hope as long as it don't snow a foot or something here in the next two days but you never know because it's northeast ohio all right guys i'm gonna wrap this video up right here um hope you guys enjoyed it so if you did give me a like shoot a comment in and um Subscribe if you're not, because it's my analytics tell me that 80% uh, of you guys aren't subscribed. And I'd like for you to subscribe because I put content up at least three times a week. Um, and it's going to get better and better as we go. So I'll catch you guys on the next video.